As I mentioned, we're going to use Tailwind CSS to design our Paparazzi application. I will be assuming you already have a little bit of knowledge uh, about that CSS framework. But if you don't, there is already a nice starting course from Adam Vayton that you can find on the Tailwind CSS website. OK, so let's get started and add this into our project. First thing to do is npm install Tailwind CSS. Then we need to add those three lines of code in our app.css. So let's open our code editor and go in resource CSS app.css, and we can finally put something here. Next, we need to generate our configuration file using npx tailwind init. So we're going to run that in our terminal. And it has been generated on our root directory. So now the last thing to do is to actually process our CSS using Laravel mix. So as you can see, all we have to do is add the tailwind CSS dependency to our post CSS uh, plugins. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. I'm going to remove that code so that we can see a bit more clearly. Uh, okay, so post CSS, here we're going to add our array of plugins and add Tailwind CSS. So if you're not familiar with post CSS, it's what we call a post processor, which means it takes a valid CSS file as an input and outputs another valid CSS file, as opposed to preprocessors like less or SAS, which basically define their own language and then output a valid CSS. So that means you can actually have both preprocessors and post processors. And because post processors input and output valid CSS, you can actually chain as many as you want. So in our case, we will be using one post processor, which is Tailwind CSS, which is basically going to transform those three lines of codes that we copy pasted earlier into a full dictionary of utility classes that we can then use freely in our application. Another post processor I'd like to add is called auto prefixer. And what it will do is it will prefix uh, CSS rules that are not yet ready on all browsers with things like WebKit or MS or O. And these will increase browser compatibility without us having to worry about manually adding them. OK, so let's implement that. We've already added Tailwind CSS. Now we also need to add Auto Prefixer. Now we don't need to install that Auto Prefixer dependency because it's already a dependency of Laravel Mix. Now, if we compile our assets again, we can see that our app.css file is now much bigger. Now, if we have a look at it, we can see that all of our utility classes have been added. And we also have some prefixes like WebKit, Moz, MS, etc. Now, to make sure everything is working properly, let's go to our app component view. And let's try and create a blue circle in the middle of the screen. So we'll give it a dimension of 32. We'll make it blue and round it full. Let's have a look at that. So, so I'm going to start hot reloading. And we're going to open our paparazzi application. And that's all working. I'm just going to place our editor and our browser next to each other so that we can instantly see the change that we make. Um, I want this circle to now be centered. So I'm going to do flex items center and justify center, I think. I always struggle with those two. OK, yeah, that's. That works. The only problem is that this is not uh, taking the full height of the page. So we just need to add each screen. OK, good. It's all working. And um, whilst we're at it, I'm going to go to our blade file where our body tag is. And I'm going to make sure that the background is a little bit grayish and not completely white. 
and also that our text by default isn't a uh, full black, but a heavy gray instead, just to make sure there's not too much contrast in our UI in general. So background gray 200 and text gray 700. Now this doesn't hold reload um, because it's not part of the JavaScript, but if I reload it manually, then we can see that our background has a little bit more uh, depth than it had before when it was completely white. Okay, so let's have a quick look at what we've done in this episode. We've added Tailwind CSS as a dependency. We then told Laravel Mix to compile it using uh, post CSS. And we also added the auto prefixer post processor to increase our browser compatibility without too much effort. We then created our app.css file which contain the three lines from Tailwind, which once compiled will generate a full dictionary of utility classes, as we can see here. And finally, we played a little bit with Tailwind CSS by creating a blue circle in the middle of the screen and initialized some utility classes on our body tag. In the next episode, we'll set up Perch CSS, which will make sure that we only compile utility classes that we actually use and therefore reduce the size um, of our compiled CSS file.